there everybody, my name is Coach Sheldon, so I'm Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a very, very, very special video because uh, the time has finally come, uh, I've been waiting for a couple of weeks, a few weeks and now it is time. Uh, so in this video I'm going to be talking about what all the big parks are doing um, for uh, to deal with the coronavirus, aka COVID-19 is its proper name, uh, but many people of course know it as coronavirus. Uh, I'm going to tell you exactly what is happening with the American parks and the British parks. Uh, the European parks are very, very different in their responses, so uh, there are most of them, or nearly all of them, in countries like Spain uh, and France that are most affected, but other countries' theme parks as well in areas that are not really as affected yet as other countries. Uh, that are still taking the most extreme of measures uh, but we're focusing on America and Britain uh, in this video if you want me to do a separate video focusing specifically on European parks then please let me know uh, but this will be focusing on Britain and America so before we get started big shout out goes to Thorax Changeling and before we get started make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a YouTube video Please share with your friends, family and on social media and make sure you get your questions in for the Q&A video for the subscriber milestone, the 1500 subscriber milestone which will be released a couple of weeks after we hit that milestone. Use your hashtag question before or after your question in the comment section down below. And for now let's get into this video. So we're going to start by telling you guys uh, about what is happening with the American parks. Um, also, I might just say in the link in the description down below, I've put five of the UK theme parks, five biggest UK theme parks um, information guides on their website about what to do with COVID-19. So that's the big thing about the UK parks. They're not closing down. They're just sort of uh, putting these new measures in place to deal with the coronavirus during visits. Uh, but of course, if the UK does get worse and worse, obviously the parks are going to have to change their plans. But for now, at least, it seems like the UK parks are still set to continue operations for now. The American parks, in terms of more detailed information, is where we're going to focus on in this video, uh, mainly, as well as the UK parks. So, let's start off with the first bit of information, and that is on the Disney parks. Now, that is in Florida. Uh, now, of course, Asia is not uh, being mentioned yet. Uh, however, if, again, like the European one, if you want to do a separate video on the Asia parks, then please let me know. Uh, but let's start off with Disney. So Disney announced that its locations in Florida will close on March the 15th, which is, of course, Sunday, uh, just gone uh, yesterday. So, of course, it's closed now uh, through to the end of the month. So this includes Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. The hotels are set to remain open so that guests can make travel arrangements and retail and dining complex in Disney Springs will also remain open. So that's just a little bit, a bit of extra just to keep open, just to keep the guests uh, safe. Uh, Disney's California locations, including the original Disneyland Park in Anaheim and of course Disney's California Adventure will close their doors on March 14th, so it's already happened, uh, through to the end of the month again, so it will reopen in April if all things have calmed down. As with Walt Disney World, the retail and dining areas in downtown Disney will remain open, as will the hotel locations. Disney has stated that they will work with guests when it comes to rebooking and will also provide hotel refunds to those with rooms booked during the closure period. So it's nice for Disney to do that, but again, like all park closures due to this reason, I can see why. You know, large gap theme parks create large gatherings, so I think that closing these parks off is the right way forward. Um, if it does get worse here in the UK, I'm pretty sure the Merlin Parks and everyone outside of Merlin with the separate family-owned UK parks and group-owned UK parks will follow suit. Uh, now, Universal Studios, all Universal Studios locations in the US, so that's Orlando, Islands of Adventure and Studios Hollywood, will temporarily close. They close on March 14th, so they're already closed, with plans to tentatively reopen on March 28th. So Hollywood closed on March 14th, Orlando uh, shut on March 15th, so the day after Hollywood, uh, dining and retail locations in Universal City Walk in Orlando will remain open as will the hotel. So that's pretty much the same with Disney. 
Uh, SeaWorld locations in Orlando and San Diego will remain open. Now, SeaWorld released a statement about the concerns of COVID-19, aka the coronavirus, uh, and it said the health and safety of our guests, ambassadors and animals are our top priorities, reads the blog post. Our parks employ experienced health and safety teams and our protocols to follow high sanitary and cleanliness standards in line with the CDC recommendations. Also owned by the SeaWorld Company are the Bush Gardens Parks in Williamsburg, Virginia and Tampa Bay, Florida. They're going to still be open. Uh, so the company released a statement extending to extending to the non-aquatic parks. So that same statement still applies with BGW and BGT. Uh, now of all the parks that fall under the vast Cedar Fair umbrella, only Knott's Berry Farm is open year round. On the 13th of March, Cedar Fair announced that Knott's Berry Farm will be closed until the end of the month and it began on March 14th. Other locations, so that's Cedar Point, California's Great America, Canada's Wonderland, Carowinds, Dorney Park and Wild Water Kingdom, Gilroy Gardens, King's Dominion, King's Island, Michigan's Adventure, Valley Fair and Worlds of Fun, which opened their doors starting in late March and throughout the spring, are scheduled to continue operating as usual. A letter from CEO Robert Zimmerman states the following, All Cedar Fair properties intend to welcome guests in accordance with our public schedules. We continue to implement preventive measures as recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, as well as our own health and hygiene protocols. All our parks and resorts have high standards of cleanliness which assists with illness prevention. So, very interesting route that Cedar Fair have taken to close Knott's Berry Farm until the end of the month uh, and then hopefully reopen it in April. But the rest of the Cedar Fair parks that aren't year round, sort of opening on time, which is a very interesting move there. Six Flags Magic Mountain closed its doors on March 10th because of rain, so we already knew that. Uh, but there is currently no indication that the park will shut down due to the cor coronavirus concerns. Other Six Flags locations are set to seasonally open as usual. Now, the president and CEO of Six Flags, Mark Span uh, Mike Spanos, released a statement addressing concerns about the coronavirus, aka COVID-19. We are taking several actions to help you feel confident about your health and safety while you, while you are in our parks. We have significantly enhanced our cleaning and sanitation efforts in all guest and employee touch points. Additionally, we are providing an abundance of antibacterial soap in all hand washing stations and have placed dozens of alcohol based hand sanitizers throughout all areas of the parks. Uh, finally, we are frequently cleaning and disinfecting all ride vehicles, queue lines, restrooms, food locations and em employee break areas. Finally then, Hershey Park intends to keep its doors open. A letter from President and CEO John Lawn reads, As part of our commitment to your health and well-being, we are carefully monitoring this COVID-19 situation with regular updates and guidance from the CDC and the Pennsylvania Department of Health, as well as additional government agencies and healthcare providers. We are working closely with our partners throughout the amusement park, entertainment and lodging industries. So that, my friends, is all what's going on uh, with uh, the US parks, the UK parks, and what is being taken with COVID-19. So you're probably thinking, what are the links in the description down below? They are help and information sheets to deal with coronavirus and how the parks in the UK are putting in measures to deal with COVID-19. Uh, so the five links in the description down below are Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Chessington, Poulton's Park and Flamingoland. But there is also a PDF download statement from Lightwater Valley on their website in a separate uh, part of the article where you can click on it and it will immediately download the statement that Lightwater Valley have made. But the statement pretty much follows the same suit as the other five UK park statements we put in the description down below with the website links. So this video wasn't all about what wasn't really about discussing my thoughts on the coronavirus and how it affects the theme park industry. The theme park industry goes away with this kind of thing. You know, you close your parks, you make sure no large gatherings happen and you make sure all areas are clear. Um, you know, it's very, very clear. Everything is, is the same with sport, it's the same with uh, culture. Everything goes out the window when something like this happens. So, you, all got, you guys know my thoughts on this. Uh, this video is all about just giving you guys the details about what's happening with these parks. I've linked the statements for the five big UK parks in the description down below, as well as talking a little bit about the statement that Lightwater Valley put out in a PDF document 
uh, linked on their website. Um, so you can have a look on like what via website, try and find the statement about COVID-19 uh, and things like that, as well as the other five links that I've put in the description down below for the other five UK parks. So today wasn't really about discussing my thoughts on closing these American parks and keeping open the UK parks because that's all getting political and we are a theme park channel, we're not politics in any way, even if it's about theme parks, we're not politics in any way. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys exactly what's going on uh, over the last couple of days in terms of park announcing closure dates uh, and also potential reopening dates if the situation quiets down in America and the UK of course if they decide to take extreme measures uh, during the rumoured peak dates between May and June when it's expected to apparently get worse uh, here in this country. So. Um, like I said, it wasn't about discussing my thoughts on the coronavirus in any way, shape or form. You know, part, you know, my love for theme parks goes out of the window. You've got to close it uh, when something like this happens, like the coronavirus. You've got to close them, in my opinion. But this isn't about politics. This is just keeping you guys updated in this video. So if you came on here thinking I was going to be turning into a, uh, a more friendlier Pierce Morgan and start being political, then I'm sorry to disappoint you. But this is just all about updating you guys about what is happening. So, thank you very much for watching this long, long video about the coronavirus uh, and, and what is happening with the parks around the world. So, I uh, hope you guys don't mind me not being political in this video. It's good to not be political sometimes and just tell you exactly what is happening. Uh, hopefully these parks will open soon and hopefully the coronavirus can be contained. Um, yeah. So, steering away from the parks, I'm really hoping they can contain this virus and the situation quiets down around the world. So. Uh, we can get back to enjoying ourselves because I think we're panicking a lot. I think we really are panicking um, about COVID-19. So I really hope the situation quiets down in the next few months. We can get back to normal and live our useful lives. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss future video. And for now, guys, keep on the ghost life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day.